Good morning. We have had an already very busy morning. I've already done my walk. I've gone grocery shopping. I got all the groceries put together. There's excitement going on across the street from us. I won! Did you win? They're, they made a marble track with our two by fours that he's going to be. These are the two by fours he's using to build his benches. But while we're waiting for him to use those, the girls have been using these for marbles. They've been racing them down. How fun is that? Look at it. And while the girls are doing that, the neighbor across the street is actually getting his driveway redone. So the girls are watching that too. I thought I would come out here and tidy up my car after um, doing some grocery shopping. And I'm trying out this vacuum here. It's by Hamasi and it's a... Uh, it's a combination of a cordless vacuum with a handheld vacuum. Really cool. So I'm going to try it out on the car, see how well it cleans it up, and let you guys know how I like it. Check it out. Wow, much cleaner. All the straw is gone. cleaning just kind of wiping out some of the dirt and now I'm going to empty this out. Yesterday was a little crazy to say the least because I started filming for you guys and I don't know when I edit this I may end up putting the two videos um, together. Sometimes I have to do that because we don't have enough footage. We like to keep our videos right around 13 to 15 minutes long because that's about the right time that we can give us the right amount of time to edit. Hello, be gentle with it. <laughs> and so yesterday I ended up starting to film and then I never got to finish it. I ended up doing a ton of yard work, mowing the lawn and things like that. Hey kiddo, what's up? Hello. <laughs> you silly girl. Hello, Janita. <laughs> so, anyways, I didn't get everything done in the house that I wanted to get done. Um, tidying wise, the house has been really, I've been working hard at keeping everything neat and clean and picked up. But yesterday, yard took total precedence. So, today the house is like a bomb's hit it. Um, so, anyways, with all that being said, Hi. Hey, kiddo. Oh, it, yep, let me fix that for you. It came unpopped. There you go. I see you in there. Yes, you do look funny. So I'm working on lunch right now. We're making uh, strawberry bacon spinach salad. I'm not sure that everybody's going to eat it. I know a lot of the kids will eat it, but I don't know if everybody will eat it. But it's summertime and I love the fresh produce and it just, this sounded like it would taste really, really good. So I'm just working on getting the bacon cooked. Maybe Lillian can help me with the strawberries and we'll get lunch going. Okay. Here, Lily.
The bacon's all cooked, and then we have the candied nuts. Now, I did not make these with a ton of sugar. They're just slightly, slightly sweet, and not all the kids will like them, so I'll probably put them in the bowl off to the side. Do you like these? Do you like nuts? Mm-hmm. Chew it up. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't want the nut? Yeah, Lily oh, doesn't like it. <laughs> we have lots of people who love the nuts, so that's good. All right, I am going to put the camera down, finish up making lunch. I will catch up with you guys later. So there's the salad. The, uh, the children had to actually help me make it because Daniel woke up and he was hungry. But I put the walnuts and the, or the candy nuts on the side so those who want them can put them on the salad. And then the bacon and the strawberries are in the salad. And I mixed it with romaine and spinach because we like a nice mix. So that's our lunch. Doesn't that look good, Art? Yes, it does. Yum, yum. Well, the rain has come once again, but Art and I are going to actually run and grab some carpet. He needs a piece of carpet for his shop. He uses usually remnants on his workbench. So we're gonna run to Ocean State and see if we can find that for him. But I'm also looking for a carpet for the front porch here. The kind of the wicker woven ones that they have up camping, but I need to measure the flooring to see how much I need. We're at Ocean State. I'm gonna pick up some Trim Healthy Mama approved almond flour. It's Bob Red Mill. It's 30% off, which is a really good price. So I'm gonna pick some of that up. And then Art's looking for some carpets for his shop. He uses those for the instruments on his workbench. So we're looking for that too. Trim Healthy Mama is on the more expensive side. This here is $20 before the 30% off. $20? That's oh, it's two and a half pounds? Oh, it is two and a half pounds. Okay. Yeah. And how long would that last you? Oh, a year, two years. Okay, well, I guess $20 yeah. for, or $14 for two years is I not that bad. I just finished up the last bag that I bought over two years ago. Okay. So, I don't use it a ton, but when I want to make my Trim Healthy Mama, like muffin in a mug or a snack at night, this is what I use. So, I'm cooking a flour. And they have a lot of interesting stuff. I was just looking at the kamut from Egypt, and it looks like big rice grains or something, and, and amaranth from Mexico. I've never heard of a lot of this stuff. Oh, it's this one, Faro from Italy. And nutritional we're gonna yeast. We're going to try this. Uh, a lot of Trim Healthy Mama actually calls for this. It's a good source of B vitamins, which is really good when you're pregnant and nursing. So, uh, nursing. <laughs> yes, right. Sorry, those are always paired together. Um, nursing, not pregnant. <laughs> it is good when you're pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and uh, anyways, we're gonna try this because it is a 30% off. You can't find that sale often. So this is a good time to buy a few things to try it out and see if I like it or not and improve our health. Okay, this is interesting. They have sorghum from uh, India. And sorghum is what they make molasses out of, except I think that's a different part of the plant. And there's spelt. Lots of interesting stuff here. We're looking for wasabi peas because that's what we always like when we come here. But they don't have any. Oh. They've got a lot of other things. Yeah, interesting things. And they have macadamia nuts. I used to own a share of macadamia nuts. One time my parents bought uh, some stocks in the Mauna Loa company that does macadamia nuts. And I bought some too. <laughs> so I actually did own macadamia nuts. 
Any rugs for my bench? Yeah, yeah, yeah this one. <laughs> I'd lose all my parts in that. Yeah, oh, would you? So we decided on these rugs for uh, part of art shop, and then we have another rug here for art shop. This is for going to be for his shoes. And then our other things. So that's what we got. Some of the vacuuming done. I still need to tidy the rest of the house, but it's time for dinner. Uh, some of the things about the vacuum that I really have really been liking is the fact that it's lightweight. It's pretty powerful. I'm used to a Kirby. I don't know how many of you guys who watch this have Kirby vacuums. I'm used to a Kirby. This works really, really well. And this vacuum works great as a supplement to the Kirby system because the Kirby is so heavy. It cleans great, but it's so heavy and it makes it really difficult for the kids. And this has been great for the kids. After dinner, they're like, hey, can I vacuum? In fact, they almost fight over the vacuum. That's a pretty sad thing. Um, but it has the, the LED lights in the front that it lights up, so hopefully the kids won't vacuum up anything they're not supposed to. And it's been a really, really cool vacuum. And as you already saw, it has that handheld feature. So that means I can use it not just for my carpets and my hardwood floors, I can use it for the stairs. I saw you, you saw me using it for the car today. It worked great. I mean, we're talking about sucking up sticks and rocks out of my car. Um, and I just wanna show you guys this, that this is the button you'd push to actually release the base unit here. And then this just snaps right into the rest of the, the full unit here. And then on the back, they have this convenient uh, indicator light on how much is the bat there's left. And if I turn this on, you can see this is fully charged. And it should last, they say the battery pack should last for about 40 minutes on high suction. And that's the other really you can change the suction level on it. So if you don't need as deep cleaning, you can actually do a lesser suction unit. And here, how that goes right down like that. It's a really neat feature to be able to control the suction level if you don't need that deep suction. I like my house to be clean, so I use it on the full suction setting. It's worked great, even on the hardwood. And because this is bagless, it's just easy to dump, it's easy to clean, and the roller is easy to clean at the bottom. And I have an exclusive coupon discount code for all of you guys that will be down in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. This is Ben. <laughs> I did. Would you like to keep vacuuming the house for me? Where do you want me to do it? Uh, well, we need to do around the dining room. Do you want to help with that? Yay! Get one. <laughs> Well, All right, so I'm. Not to well, just avoid thumper. Mm, okay. All right, let's get like let's get dinner on the table and get moving. So Charity got back from work, and our library is a pickup location for field goods. And this is not a sponsored post, uh, but they had to, there's apparently a mix up or a misorder. And so this was going to get thrown out because it couldn't, it, there was no one for it. And so they kindly gave it to charity to bring home. And there's all kinds of goodies in there. This is a bag, probably a pound or two of spit, um, parsnips. Parsnips. Parsnip. And then, ooh, look at this. This is a bag of mushrooms. mushrooms. Yum. And yes, you can see. Come here, Grace. We got this beautiful bunch of spinach. spinach. Wow. Okay, let's see. Hang on a second. There 
This is, I think that's an, a uh, pea shoots. That's right. We read that was pea shoots. We've got fresh strawberries here. And then we have a nice big bunch of asparagus. So what an amazing, just a kind blessing of God to give this to us. Asparagus, absolutely love asparagus. I know you love strawberries. All this good food. <laughs> How about we put it in the refrigerator? We can cook it tomorrow. That sound good? You want to get the strawberries? Hold them gently. Do they look yummy? Yeah. They look better than all strawberries. Yeah, that's because they pick them ripe instead of wait for them to ripen on the trip here from California. Oh, you want to show your sister? Oh, Daddy, cute! Look at that. All right. Uh, you want to put it in the refrigerator for me? Watch out, Thumper! Wait, let's see if we have room. Can we put it right there? Thank you. We can have it tomorrow. Bye, strawberries. I love parsnips. <laughs> How appropriate for our name. I do believe that all of our parsnips do not make it. Well, thank you, Mr. Critter in my garden. So we will savor, savor these. Not all the kids like them, but I love them. I like them too. They're so good. It's pretty late and I'm going to call it a night. Art's still at work and he'll probably be working for a little bit longer, but I'm going to call it a night. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to check out the links for the vacuum as well as the exclusive coupon code just for our viewers. And that is all down in the description below. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.